Hey, my name is Chanti, and we're here in my studio to show how I use the Ecla Warm 4 in my live set. I had been DJing at a bar called Busby's and I was doing a residency, just mixing vinyl for like six hours on the Warm 2 and it felt amazing and I just wanted to, um, I was thinking, and I had this Opera House show coming up and I was thinking it would be amazing if I could just use this as the mixer for the live show and then eventually settled on the Warm 4, which I'm so happy I decided to do. Um, basically, it's just a way to remix the whole set and get very physical and like uh, sculpt all the space and tweak everything and at least scratch period out and anything. It just helps me be able to jam with my music, which is normally very layered and hard, hard to know how to produce in a live setting. Uh, I think the, the layout felt very good and, uh, and the sound of the isolators. I think the, having really good sound in isolators was uh, imperative because I wanted to have something that, you know, if the drummer's playing, I can carve out the drums really easily and then give him that space. And then if um, maybe it's a bit bass heavy, I can really just um, in the moment just go bring it out and then um, feel basically as the set's dynamics progress I can go along with it with the band. You're basically able to create like any almost effect that you can think of like in the moment with like scooping the mids you can like almost create like a phaser and then um, you know then you can bring like it's like a high pass and low pass and then uh, even you can do tremolo things and uh, and then when you sweep in the highs and the mids yeah it gets more phasery and uh, flangery and um, uh, I think, uh, yeah, it's kind of like a very simple toolbox, but you can do like lots of effects um, when you just kind of like play along with different types of sounds and different type of soundscapes. And um, maybe uh, in the live set, there's a lot of drones that happens on a lot of channels. So it's almost like uh, if I didn't have the mixer, it would just be like kind of like too in your face. But once having this row of oscillators, I'm able to do basically anything with it and it just becomes like an oscillator that I'm like almost turning this into like a synth and um, I think the features that um, really appealed to me was also the I was really curious about the analog subharmonic synthesizer uh, which at first I thought I might not use it's probably you know for more for like DJ and vinyl and like to add in low end to that but I found actually once I was like incorporating it in the live set and having all like the 808s and everything with heavy low end coming out of it. it sounded amazing and was like shattering the speakers in a great way and then uh, basically expanding that further with the actual analog synth inside the uh, mixer um, becomes its own instrument because you have like this uh, tuned sub uh, harmonic pitch and then that becomes like something that you know I can communicate uh, uh, maybe the keyboard or something with like this is the note that the synth is playing and then let's jam on that and then almost try to make it like just bring it down to the kick and the keys and then it becomes its own instrument to play with. Um, so uh, um, I love the subharmonic synthesizer and the, the sends and returns just just feels very um, like natural like I, c I can just switch my mind off and I can just go with my fingers and I think that was the thing that I liked about this layout and the feel and the sound of the mixer. Thanks. Nice.